Hello viewers and welcome to another episode on Lua programming for Wireshark. In the previous episodes, we have covered how to write a basic dissector in awesome Lua and then how to cascade from a dissector into another dissector or a standard dissector using tunneling. And now we are back trying to work on another problem which is very interesting Wireshark problem that if I want to create my own protocol which is different from Ethernet, Wireshark actually has a way to define your own link layer and if you look through the Wireshark documentation it provides DLT uh, layers and these uh, link layers defined from 147 to 162 there's there's 15 16 layers that you can define that are that could be different from the ethernet layer so here I'll, i will show you how to program how to define your own uh, wireshark um, protocol at the link level which is equivalent of ethernet and then once you have it how to be able to put it up in wireshark and be able to dissect it and perhaps connect it to other protocols that are following before uh, you do your after you do your processing. So here's a simple uh, Lua script. Just like before, we define a proto buffer, and uh, the name is ham. A description is ham protocol. And ham, I just chose ham to be uh, a random, uh, you know, name for my my protocol. So in ham protocol, I have just like kind of like ethernet i have source test but these are four byte so there's four bytes of source four bytes of test and then two bytes of a type and that's all there is and so it kind of looks like ethernet but it's different and that's the cool part about wireshark is that it allows you to do all that it allows you to change the link layer and so once we have defined these ham protocol fields I can say that it can, consists of all this then I define the dissector and it's all standard stuff buffer p info tree which are required to define the dissector I use the length this time and um, in the in the protocol info I have to inject my protocol name and then the local subtree just like before I have to add this um, ham protocol tree in there and ethernet without fcs don't worry about it for now because this is something i use to chain my ham dissector with the standard ethernet dissector so i can pass in uh, a dissection of uh, encapsulated ethernet packet inside this packet and so going on to that um, we then add the source dest and the type buffers uh, inside this subtree and you can see that I adjust for the buffer length and pointers etc and the buffer is in as I have described before in the format of start address and the length format so if you're confused about that you can go back to my previous um, video on that now once you have defined and added these uh, these fields in the subtree that you defined here which was the ham protocol subtree you are done and pretty much at this point you chain it you, you may just leave it alone but in my case I chain it with an Ethernet dissector because I assume that inside the type no matter what happens I'm carrying an Ethernet packet inside mine is just a just a wrapper around an Ethernet packet so Ethernet without FCS is just chained it starts at position 10 and its length is whatever length I got here minus 10 and pass on the, t the TB buffer into the um, Ethernet with the protocol info and the tree and that's it so then you basically install this um, this um, dissector into your um, uh, let me just get back to the code here uh, you install this dissector into your um, Wireshark directory um, and I have instructions for that in the uh, git repository that I will specify below so you can check it out there in the readme file which shows you how to install a dissector etc the one interesting thing here is that it's not just the installation of the dissector but you have to when you generate a file 
the file which is a pcap file contains the information that says that the protocol is actually an ethernet protocol so you have to change the um, the protocol from ethernet to some other link in this case we have to specify that the link we are using in my case i chose 147 which is the first user defined layer so i you have to somehow convert um, the wireshark um, pcap file from ethernet to say that my starting point is not ethernet otherwise wireshark will just go down ethernet and all this will never happen so um, I have to show you how to do that. So if you just bear with me, let me open up um, a terminal and then we can run down and um, see how we can uh, uh, we can convert. So if you um, so uh, let me just go there and now in this directory, I have already um, I have already created the um, the pcap file, which in this case is called ham.pcap. And this ham.pcap is a standard Ethernet pcap. Um, and uh, what I do is that if you look in the readme file, you have to use edit cap functionality, and the edit cap can take uh, ham.pcap and then format it using this user zero is the format which is the DLT zero or the 147 link layer so we're going to use the layer link layer 147 as user zero and we're going to convert this to ham147.pcap so you must run this command uh, for converting so I'm just going to copy this command and if I then uh, let me just uh, uh, get myself some space here and I'm going to delete this uh, ham147 um, and then run this. So it's basically taking a standard Ethernet pcap and running edit cap so that I can change my link layer to 147. Just copy this command and replace your pcap names with whatever appropriate names are and there you have it so now we have created this ham 147 pcap and with the dissector installed all we have to now do is just pull up our wireshark and now i'm going to show you how there's a there's another trick that you need to do in wireshark to be able to install the ham um, dissector because this is a special dissector it's not just placed there in the folder and call it in the init you have to do all that the standard stuff but you also on top of that have to come in and in the preferences you have to go to protocol and in protocols there's something called DLT so you have to go there and um, and you have to find this uh, DLT protocol so I'm just missing it for some reason but um, but the DLT user protocol right there so if you edit this, you can see that you have to go there and pick user zero. There's there's like 16 possibilities. So pick user zero and install the ham protocol, whatever you want to call your protocol, install it here. You don't need to change anything else. Just install, call the this to be ham. You know, you can just type in here. And then once you save that, that protocol has now been installed. Uh, and then uh, you get permission denied because uh, I guess uh, I'm not sure so I think I have some permission issues but you should be able to save that if you have enough permissions which I did before so once you have saved that file what you can do is that you can pull up the Wireshark and uh, you have to bear with me because my power is running low. I'm hoping that I can finish this video in time, so I'll go fast. Um, so essentially, what you then do is if you open uh, and if you open up the ham, and remember to uh, pull up the ham 147 pcap because that's the one with our special link layer. And so if you come here, you can see that DLT 147 ham protocol was dissected and the source, dust, and type were dissected, and lo and behold, it called the Ethernet 2 dissector following. So that's it, guys. Um, if you have any questions, do leave me in comments, but 
we have basically showed how to create the ham dissector which is an alternate ethernet protocol which consists of these fields and we have plugged that into wireshark using the same methods as before you can look in the readme file how to install a dissector but above and beyond that you have to come in and do this trick about the preferences and connect your dlt0 to the ham protocol or whatever you want to call it protocol and once you have done all that then your protocol is ready to go you have to do the edit cap trick to convert a standard ethernet pcap into a dlt 147 pcap if you have done that then you pull it up in wireshark and lo and behold it will pull it up and dissect it just as you expect it to so that's it guys and um, i hope you enjoyed the video um, and if you did give me a thumbs up and uh, hit subscribe so that if any more videos are coming out in this series or a bunch of other new series that i'm working on then you will get a notification uh, and um, thanks for spending the time today with me and hope to see you soon bye bye